Alright, what's going on guys? Trav back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my first review. This will be a non-spoiler review for Marvel's The Avengers Age of Ultron. Okay, yeah, so I will keep this one non-spoiler, so don't worry, guys. Uh, you know, we're not going to get into any specifics here, any details of, uh, you know, what happens in the movie, you know, uh, how things play out. For the most part, they play out mostly how you'd expect with a few small surprises here and there. Uh, so I got a chance to check it out. Been waiting for the movie for, of course, since the since the first one aired, and we kind of had an idea when they were starting to let everybody know that they were going to be doing, you know, more Avengers movies and that we'd be seeing more, you know, up to uh, Iron Man three and another Captain America Winter Soldier and you know eventually we're gonna get Civil War and all kinds of awesomeness from uh, Marvel when it comes to their cinematic universe which is uh, is always fun so back to see another Avengers movie the sequel to the original and uh, I'm gonna save the comparisons for their own video I'm gonna do an Avengers 2 versus Avengers 1 and in that video so you know heads up uh, if you're new to the channel you want to subscribe bottom left to subscribe I'll do that later this week and we'll actually compare the Avengers 2 2 versus the Avengers 1, which one was better and why. So we'll get more into that later. Um, but to say right off the bat in this uh, non-spoiler review, it, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Very similar to the original. Um, I think it's a bit longer than the original. This one was over a couple hours long, which is good. Action-packed all the way through from the very first frame, from the very beginning of the movie. Um, you know, action sequences all the way throughout with some with one of the coolest battles. This isn't really spoilers because it was in the trailer. You guys know that uh, we're going to be seeing the Hulkbuster Iron Man versus uh, the Hulk, or trying to contain the Hulk, so to speak. And uh, you know, that's not spoiler because it's in the trailer. You, you would already know if you've seen the trailer. And to see it play out is absolutely amazing, man. It's one of the coolest. Um, you know, movie battles uh, I've ever seen. You know, this one feels like it, it feels in, in some ways that the closest thing I can compare it to would be like Dragon Ball Z, where you have just, you know, just these two huge just forces fighting against each other to the point where at some times when they clash, there's like a, a boom, you know, and, and like all the windows will shatter and all kinds of stuff. And it's just really incredible to see the fight. It's, it's probably the best fight of the movie, one of the best uh, fights I've ever seen. Uh, and it's, it's pretty amazing. Of course, as you know, Ultron is the, the the big bad in this one. He's the villain, and he's pretty fearsome. He, he is a good villain. You know, he's uh, an old school Avengers villain. The first one we had Loki. This one we've got uh, Ultron, and he brings kind of. I won't get into the the specifics of his story for you. We'll do that in the spoiler review. But he brings uh, a new threat that he doesn't feel any anything like Loki. He's very original. He's very different. He kind of feels a bit like Megatron. I want to say uh, some of his uh, suits because he of course has the different you know versions of Ultron as himself. You can see in the trailer he's got like that Ultron Prime and then he's got like an, an army of himself because he's um He's an AI, right? So he's played by, of course, James Spader, who is amazing. If you haven't seen The Blacklist, check out The Blacklist. It's definitely a good show. And he's got this really uh, deep, ominous voice that is very intimidating and uh, and, and really, really uh, scary, uh, yet uh, kind of kind of proper at the same time. He's got he's just got this really, really unique voice, and uh, he's he's really fun to listen to. And he does a great job as as Ultron. Uh, in terms of him as a villain against Loki, again, we'll keep that for the. Uh, one versus two comparison video, but uh, he, he's a good villain. He's a really cool villain, and it's epic of scale. You know, it's it's the Avengers, so we're not seeing like some small kind of inner city thing here. It, of course, is a planetary scale type threat. Ultron able to copy himself, able to basically uh, create an army of himself, able to uh, you know traverse the internet because he's a, an AI, right? So he can you know he can create a body out of you know machine body and be in that, and then he can traverse verse and and you know he's, he's uh, an artificial intelligence entity basically is is what it is um if you you know you kind of know about what ultron is so yeah so so there's the villain uh of course you know great really really good villain i really enjoyed him a lot uh a lot different from loki of course as loki's more of like you know the trickster god he's kind of got that god side uh, ultron feels like a an iron man villain if if loki is like a thor villain which you know i guess you could kind of say yeah he kind of is right of course uh you know comes from the thor the thor side of the avengers this one with uh ultron comes from the uh, the tony stark or the Iron Man side of the Avengers. Um, so really good villain. In terms of the Avengers core characters themselves, they're 
they there's so many of them in this one that it's it, it seems like they have trouble kind of focusing on on who to who to use for the story, you know, who to focus on in the story, because uh, there are so many. Um, but uh, without getting into too many spoilers, they focus on the uh, a lot of the, a lot of the time and a lot of the story, the dry, the story, the dialogue, and everything driving through the plot. Uh, it focuses on the Avengers that haven't had as much time as some of the ones that have had their own solo movies. So that's as much as I'll say about that, versus having like a lot of focus. Well, Iron Man, of course, is always a focus because Ultron's an Iron Man villain sort of in this. Um, you know, the Hulk, of course, always there. You know, when you think of the Avengers, of course, you've got your uh, you've got your Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Iron, uh, Iron, did I say Iron Man? Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, and uh, Captain America. So those are like your core four that are usually always on your Avengers team. And then you've got the others. In the movies, we have, uh, of course, Hawkeye and uh, and Black Widow, who, because they've never had their own solo movies, so these are characters that are getting a lot of time in this movie, which is great to see because they haven't had it very much all throughout the series. Then we have the new characters, which is the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, which are pretty good. The only thing with them, I'll say, is their accents don't feel real. But that could just be me because I know that I've seen, you know, uh, the uh, those two in different movies before and I know how they sound in normal so their accents in the movie don't feel 100% legitimate to me but oh, oh well it's it's not a huge deal um, so they're pretty good in it you know getting to see Quicksilver is really cool of course we saw a version of Quicksilver in uh, X-Men Days Future Past we're seeing another one here and this one's cool too uh, although if I had to pick between the two I'd probably prefer the uh, Days of uh, Future Past one because it was really fun how they handled him but Scarlet Witch is really cool in this you know she, she's really cool she's got some good parts and her abilities are really strong she's able to kind of mentally manipulate a lot of the avengers and there's some some good uh some good things that happen out of that and they are a pretty strong uh duo in in the movie um they get a they get a pretty good pretty good amount of time so I don't want to get too much into the uh, the story to talk too much more about that in my non-spoiler review. We'll do that in the spoiler one. But basically, you know what you're getting. It's a lot of fun. You get the big, you know, epic battle, the worldwide threat. You get uh, to see um, some amazing action sequences with things just getting leveled and all kinds of craziness and, and huge scale. It's, uh, it, it's definitely uh, a satisfying sequel to the original. Um, we'll talk about whether or not it's better than it in that video to come. And I'm going to give it an 8.4 out of 10. Uh, the Avengers Age of Ultron solid. Definitely not a disappointment. You know what you're getting. It probably won't blow your mind either because, you know, we saw the first one. And I feel like that kind of new vo- that new feel that we had in the first one, in this one, isn't there as much. But you have kind of more of a story with more different things happening and uh, more characters. You know, you've got the villain and um, it is uh, it is still really, really well done. Really great to see. And I'd recommend seeing it uh, in, uh, you know, the best quality theater you can go to. It's worth it for this one. Just to see the Hulk versus the Hulkbuster Iron Man. Uh, you know, it's just, oh man, really, really, really cool. So definitely check it out. It's it's a fun movie. You know, you can enjoy it. And it's, it's kind of something that anybody, probably all ages, can kind of get it, can kind of understand it and uh, you know see what's happening the plot isn't anything too crazy intellectual it's just uh, just a lot of you know simple Marvel movie a lot of fun another addition to their Marvel Cinematic Universe that does not disappoint 8.4 out of 10 from me if you guys got a chance to check out the movie go ahead and write it in the comments below what you thought heads up for those videos that are coming like I mentioned and if you like the video please thumb it up below if you want to help support the channel please share it you can use the share tool below share it through to your Facebook if you wouldn't mind favorite it and if you're new you want to subscribe bottom left go ahead and click the subscribe we'll see you guys soon probably tomorrow for the spoiler review and then the next day for the avengers 1 versus avengers 2 video that's it for this one guys travis says avengers solid fun uh you know satisfying that's it for this one see you guys for the next one as always it's travis saying peace guys later see ya